All right. What's up, everyone? This is four six. So if you're from four to six years old, or really just anyone at home wanting to dance and move around with me, um, we're all gonna start with a big stretch, a big deep breath in. We're gonna start doing a big reach, deep breath in, let it all out. <sighs> Good. One more time, deep breath in. Go up on those tippy toes and just let it all out and fall to the floor. <sighs> Keep your knees straight. <sighs> and then we just roll all the way up, stand back up. Go one more time, just like that. Reach up on your tippy toes. Let it all fall to the floor. Small bend in your knees. And we roll it all the way back up. We're gonna do our positions of the arms. Of course, we're starting with ballet. We're gonna use those arms like you're holding a beach ball. We all say first position. Good, and we open our arms like we want a big hug. And we say second position. Good, now take one arm in. What's after two, what's after second? Good, we say third position. And this one hand floats up and we say fourth position. Good, this hand joins it. Say fifth position and we let those arms float down. Ah, good, pick up that beach ball again. We say first position, good. Open those arms. Second position, we're gonna switch sides. Use your other arm this time for third. Lift it up, fourth. Close those arms, fifth. And we let them float down, pour it a bra. Good. Shake it out, shake, 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 shake. We're all gonna sit down on the floor. Ah, squeeze those feet together, one, two, three, squish. Good, bounce those knees up and down, up and down. Good, we rock those boots side to side. And we bounce those knees up and down, up and down. Good, now you take a deep breath in and lift that body so it's super tall. And we let our air out and we kind of go a little small and super tall. And small and tall 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 and small. Good, now get that body super tall, nose to toes. Can you guys help me count to eight? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good, sit up super tall. Now try your best not to let these knees move. We're gonna keep them super still. And I'm gonna stretch one arm all the way up and over. Again, don't let this leg lift up. Push this leg down, don't let your legs move. We stretch this side. Good, and we swing over to the other side. Again, don't let those knees move. Keep them super still. Nose to toes, one more time. Help me count again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good, sit up super tall. Get those legs all the way out to the side. Now I wanna make sure your knees are straight, your toes are up to the sky. If your knees are a little bit bent, just bring your feet forward a little bit and then push them down, yeah. <clears throat> now again, I don't want my legs to move, so when I stretch to the side, I don't want this leg to lift up. So make sure both legs stay on the ground, freeze them like Queen Elsa. <sharp inhale> yeah. One arm reaches up and over just like we did when we were in butterfly. Keep those legs still. Just see if you can go over and touch that toe. Boop. Good. We go over to the other side. Don't let your legs move. See if you can touch that toe. Boop. Perfect. Now this is the hard part. We keep your toes up to the sky. Don't let them lean forward. Keep them up. I don't want you to walk your hand out to the front. Good. Yes, that's it. Now we're gonna count backwards from eight. So we're gonna start at eight. Sing it out loud with me. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Walk those hands backwards on one. Oh, shake those legs together. Now I want you to keep your body super tall, but point those toes and flex. Good, that's it. Point and flex and point. And flex this time. I want you to keep one toe up, but point the other toe. So only one toe points at a time. The other toes flex. We flip, flop, and flip, flop. Good. Now I want you to keep both toes up. See if you can keep your heels together. But give me some bunny ears and up. Good. Bunny ears, toes up. Keep those feet together. One more time. Bunny ears, toes up. Whew. Shake that out a little. Keep that body tall, point your toes, hands up, 
Go ahead, lean forward, take a nap. Good, hands up. Now toes up, see if while your toes are up, keep your knees straight, see if you can touch those toes. Yes, very good. Now one more thing before we stand up on those feet, I want you to roll onto your belly. Oh. And keep your knees and your ankles together super tight. Toes are pointed. See if you can lift those arms up. Now I want to keep my shoulders down away from my ears. So I have a nice long, tall neck. Good. Shake your head no here. Good. Keep those shoulders down. See if you can shake your head yes. Good. Okay. Bend those elbows. Let your body come down to the floor. I want you to kick your legs like we're swimming now. Good, keep those toes pointed. Now both toes up. It's okay if your knees open this time. I want you to push those arms again so my elbows are super straight. My hands are on the floor. My shoulders are down away from my ears. I want you to, remember how we shook our head, yes? I want you to keep your head all the way up. See if you can touch your head to your toes. Good. Straighten those knees. We're gonna sit back onto our feet. Whew, stretch our back the opposite way. Good, we're gonna roll up. Stand all the way up on those feet. One more stretch. We always gotta practice our splits, right? So for me, I'm gonna step forward with my right foot first. I'm gonna try my best to keep my knees super straight. I'm gonna start to slide my feet apart. When my hands can touch the floor, my hands on the floor and I just slide all the way down, keeping my knees straight. If my knee bends, that's as far as I'm gonna go. I'm gonna stop right here with straight knees. Just keep going as far as you can. Hold it just for three, two, one. That's it, stand up. Whew. Oh, shake it out, I know that hurts a little bit. Now I'm gonna turn, I'm gonna face the other way and I'm gonna switch legs. So whatever foot you had in front before is in the back now. So for me, I step forward with my left foot now. Slide those feet apart a little bit. Hands to the floor. Keep those knees straight. Remember, once one knee starts to bend, that's it. Just stay right where you are. Slide, slide, slide. Hold it. We're going to hold it for three, two, one. That's it. Whew, stand up. Oh my goodness, shake it out. Whew. It's important to try to be flexible if we want to be ballerinas, right? You want to be able to kick those legs really high. I'm starting to get warm. I'm going to take off my sweater and we are going to do some ballet dancing. Okay, let's start with first position. Get those feet together, toes open. Ah, good. What position is this again? First position. Good. Hands on your hips. We're going to do a little bit of these moves. Warm up those knees and those ankles. Okay, what's this move called? Plie, plie. Can you sing with me? Plie. Excellent. What does plie mean? To bend. Excellent. Now I want you to try to do a grand plie all the way down. Don't touch the floor. Stand back up. Whew. One more time. Grand plie all the way down. Don't touch the floor. Stand all the way back up. Whew. Excellent. Now hold on to your beach ball. Let's lift it up over our heads. Like a balloon and it lifts us up on our toes. Ooh, come back down. And up on your toes, come back down. Can we sing it together? Say, releve, releve. Yes, one more time, releve. Stay on those tippy toes, hold it for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Come back down, excellent. Hands on your hips. I want you to slide that toe out. Slide it back to first. And I want you to sing with me, tondu. Tandu. Tandu. Excellent. Now we're going to do a tandu to the side. Keep those toes on the floor. Don't let your toes lift up at all. Keep them sliding on the floor as if you were painting lines on the floor with your toes. Go ahead and do one to the back just for practice. Make sure it's straight behind you. Excellent. Now we're going to connect those tandus, the front, the side, all the way around to the back, and then close it first. Good, other leg. Front, 
push it to the side like a big rainbow all the way to the back and then to first. Now this time I want you to sing with me. Run de jump first. Run de jump first. Good, can you say it out loud? Run de jump first. Good, one more. Make sure you're switching legs. Run de jump first. Perfect. Super good. Now I want you to put one toe out in the front. Keep it there, bounce it around. What's this move called? Good, I see you say pique, 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 first. Other toe, pique, 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 first. Super good. Now grab that beach ball again. Make sure there's air in it, so blow it up. Go ahead, hold on to that beach ball, keep it lifted. With our toe, we're gonna slide it up to our ankle, find your balance, lift it up to your knee, back down your ankle, and first. Good, switch sides, do the other leg. Coupe at your ankle, passe up at your knee, coupe, first. Good, now do it with me this time. Coupe, passe, coupe, first. Other leg, coupe, passe, coupe, first. Two important rules. It's not my whole foot on my leg, it's just my tippy toe, so really point those toes. My second rule is my knee is not in line with my nose. I want you to push it all the way open so it's in line with your ears, yeah? Turn those knees out, push them back, back, back. So one more time, each direction. Hold on to your beach ball. Say it with me. Coupe, passe, coupe, first. Other side, coupe, passe, coupe, first. Good, drop your beach balls. I want to see big batmas, big kicks. Get those legs up as high as you can. Good, what does batma mean? To kick. Good, batma means to kick. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Good, make sure your knees are not bent. Make sure they're super straight, both of them. And make sure your foot's not flexed, but pointed. Batma, batma, good. Now I want you to switch and I want you to put it behind you. So I'm gonna to turn to the side. Lift that leg up in the back seat, arabesque. Whew. Let's try the other side. Back seat, arabesque. Ugh. Good. Let's, let's do some more fun stuff. Hands on your hips, what's this move called? Can you do this with me? Jump, jump, jump. Good, now everyone say, saute. Yes, very good, hands on your hips. First position, so your feet are to their toes are open. We're gonna do more jumps, but this time I want you to jump from first to second, back to first, to second, to first, to second, to first. Good, now what's that move called? It's not sautés anymore, because sauté means to jump. And we are still jumping, but what's it called when we switch the positions of the feet like that? Can we sing it together? Say, a chape, a chape. Very good, that's it. A chape, one more. Chape, good. Now we were doing first and second position, but now I want you to take that heel and scooch it up to your toe. So now we're in fifth position. Can everyone say fifth position? Excellent. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump in the air just like we were doing sautés, but I want you to put your other foot in front. So right now, I have my right foot in front. I'm gonna jump and switch, and now my left foot is in front, and my heel is right at my toe. So I'm still in fifth position, but I have my other foot in front now. Can we try it again? Jump and switch. Hey, uh. Yes, good. Now this time when you jump and switch, say, Shanjma. Good, say it super loud, Shanjma. Yes, now Shanjma means to change. Right, super easy to remember. You just change the foot that's in front. Shanjma, 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 Shanjma. Excellent, those look super good, good job. One more jump move, it's my favorite. Can you guys say, Pa de Sha. Good, say it again, Padesha. Uh-huh, it is the step of the cat. So the idea is to like make a cat head shape with your legs in the air. So you're gonna step and do a passe, jump and switch passes, and then make sure you land in first position. That's how you know the whole Padesha is done. Now, one more time, I jump passe, I switch passes, and I go to first. Now remember what I said, step of the cat. I wanna see a cat head, which means both feet have to be in the air 
at the same time, and my knees should look like the cat ears on the cat head, okay? So knees up at the same time, so you're making this shape in the air, except with pointed toes, of course. So when we do it, try to get both legs up at the same time. Padisha. Ooh, that was good. Let's try it again. Maybe try going the other way. Padisha. Good. Very good. Let's do one more to each side. Step. Padisha. Make sure you're landing in first position. Good. One more time the other way. Step. Padisha. <laughs> Excellent. Now I thought for fun today we could learn a dance together. What do we think? Good idea? It's super, super, super fun. We're going to start in first position. So my feet are together, toes are open. Put your hands on your hips. We're going to start with four saute jumps. Can you show me what sautés look like again? Yes, good memories. Feet together, sauté means to jump. We do four jumps, then we do two échappés, open and close and open and close, and then we do four chandras. So from here, I'm just gonna jump and put my right foot in front and left and right and left. <sighs> okay, let's do it from the top, ready? First position, remember four sautés, two échappés, four chandras. Five, six, seven, go! Sauté, sauté, échappé, échappé, chandra, chandra. Whew. Let's do it with the music because it's going to be way better than me trying to sing it or count it. Um, let me cue up my song here. Uh, Grown-ups, if you want to do this one later, or dancers, if you want to find the song later, it's called Hakuna Matata from Lion King. I am using, a, dare I say, the original version from the cartoon movie, not the live action. Wi-Fi is not so good right now. Here we go. And I'm going to start one minute and 20 seconds in, just in case you want to do it later. You know where it's starting at. Oh, sorry. Here we go. Sautés. One, two, three, four. Aisha Pei. Good. Change mod. One, two, three, four. Hands up. Excellent. I saw you guys add on with me after we do four change mods. I just want you to jump open a second. Take those hands all the way down, scoop it up, 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 and hold. Let's do it with music again. I'll cue it up. I'll try to count you in a little bit better. Sort of threw it at you that time. Ready? First position. Get ready for your saute jumps. It starts as soon as the music comes on. Ready? Five, six, seven, so eight. Sorry. Good. One, two, three. Ace your pace. Change mods. Hands up. Yes. Excellent. I'm going to teach you the next part because you guys have that. Uh, so my hands are up. I'm going to step side to side. So if you've ever taken pip hop with me, it's kind of like step touch, except for I want you to do a tondu. Step tondu. Yeah. Step tondu. Step tondu. Here's where it gets tricky. I'm going to do two pique piques. Step, pique, pique. One more time. We lift those hands up. Ain't no pets in phrase. Hold. Step, tondu. Step, tondu. Step, tondu. Pique, pique. Pique, pique. Good. Let's do it from the very, very beginning. Hands on your hips. First position. Saute jumps. One, two, three, four. And a chape, a chape, change ma. Three. Two, one, hands up. Tandu, step, point. Good, add those feet, guys. Pique, 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 pique. Yeah, let's do it with music. It's always more fun with the song, right? Here we go, first position. Oh, sorry. Go, one, two, three. Ace your pace. Sean's mask. One, two, three, four, hands up. Tandu. Good, add those piques. Pique, pique. Pique, pique. Good. You guys saw what was next, huh? Hands up. Show me a passe. 
anapasa, just like we practiced earlier, slide that toe all the way up your leg, like an elevator. So don't let it just pop to your knee. Make sure you slide it all the way up your leg, okay? With the music from the top, we'll add on our passes. There's only like one or two more parts after this. With the music, six, seven. Uh, eight, uh, eight. Uh, not in front of the kids. Hands on your hips. Oh, sorry. So Ooh. tight. Tondu, side to side. No worries for the rest. Pique. 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 Yeah, yeah. I added on a little bit more again. So after we put those hands up and we do passe, passe, I'm going to push my arms open and do two batmas. So again, with those batmas, I want you to kick your feet up as high as you can. All the way up. Yeah. Let's do it with the music again. You guys have it. It's super easy, super fun. If you know the words, please sing, right? It's so much fun. Here we go. First a position. Matata, on a wonderful phrase. A guna matata, ain't no passing phrase. Good. Are you ready? We're going to do my favorite jump. Right after you do your two bat mas, bat ma kick, bat ma kick. I don't care which way you go, but I want you to do a step and a big padasha. And you can add those arms in so it's a big explosion. So for me, it bat ma, bat ma, step padasha. Good. Let's do it with music. We're going to add that pas de chat. After your pas de chat, you're just going to go up on releve and spin, 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 spin. Okay. After we do our releve and we spin, I want you to freestyle. So freestyle, improv, it means you get to do whatever moves you want. So you can forget about Miss Natalie's ballet moves and just do whatever feels good. Okay. So from the very beginning, you do have to start with my moves. But remember, after you do your releve and you twirl, then you do whatever you want after that. But for right now, the very beginning of the song, hands on your hips. Not in front of the kids. So, oh, Taze. Sorry. Go. Hakuna Matata on a wonderful break. Good. That looks great. Keep it going. Hakuna Matata ain't no passing praise. Beautiful. Now this is your freestyle. You can do anything you want. Good. That is looking super good. Let's do it together two more times. And then we'll dance under the stars. Okay. Let me get to the beginning of the music. Big energy this time. Remember when you're dancing or performing, you always have something on your face, whether it's an angry face or sad face or a really happy face. For me, this is a really happy song. So I'm gonna try my best to keep a smile the whole time. The kids. Oh, Ready? Sorry. Here we go. So face. What a wonderful Good. Relive, hold it, and we twirl with that music. Now freestyle. So anything you want to do. Yes, excellent. Let's do it together one more time. Start in first position, feet together, toes open, 
Hands on your hips. Remember, if you want to sing it this time, go for it as loud as you can. Oh, sorry. Okay. So it What a wonderful phrase. Aguna Matata. Ain't no passing craze. It means no worries for the rest of your days. Yes, it, it. It's our problem free. There are lots of things. Aguna Matata. Yes, excellent. Okay, so it is time, my favorite time uh, of class, where I am going to go flip on my disco ball. I know at home we might not all have one of those, so if you just want to turn the lights off in the room that you're in, but maybe keep your blinds to your windows open, your shades open. Um, maybe you have a hallway or a room next door that you can turn the lights on in those rooms. So like for me, I'm gonna go turn on this light in the other room back here and leave this door open. So that will illuminate this room a little bit for me, even though the room I'm in itself is very dark. I want it to feel like we're on a stage, like we're at a real performance. And then if you really want, if, it, if the room feels a little dark, go ahead and grab a flashlight. <gasps> Hi. Um, and then again, if anyone else in the home wants to come dance with you, this is like a fun little party time, okay? So you get to do anything you want. I'm gonna play the same song we've been dancing to, Akuna Matata, so that we can start with the dance moves we learned together, and then you can freestyle the whole rest of the song. All right? Once I see that there are some grown-ups in the room with you or other brothers or sisters or other friends who want to dance, I'll go ahead and push play. Also, it might be a good time to take some water. I'm going to get some water too. But if you're ready, let's dance. I'm going to play this song for you. Oops, I didn't push play. Here we go. Akuna Matata. What a wonderful phrase. Akuna Matata. Ain't no person crazy. Okay, let me see your favorite moves. Anything you want to do. No worries for the rest of your day. Yes, let me see that freestyle. Woo! Yes! Awesome. Good. Okay, I'm gonna play it from where we learned our dance. So get to your first position, feet together, toes open. We're gonna start with those saute jumps. Oh, sorry. Here we go. Akuna Matata. What a wonderful race. Ain't shot a pink shot. Ain't no passing craze. Time to do. Let's do it together. Go for it. For the rest of your days. Keep your Good. It's our problem free. Bop, bop. Bop, bop. Bop, bop. Bop, bop. Bop, bop. Good. Now you freestyle the rest of this song. Anything you want to do.
good. Song is coming to an end. So think about your ending pose. What are you going to do for, to freeze in that ending pose? Good, beautiful. And I do see some grown ups in there with you guys. Thank you for dancing with us. Let's put our hands up all together. We're going to take a bow or a curtsy. Ah, oh, some of the best dancing I've seen. And I'm going to go ahead and put the lights back how they were. So goodbye, stars. Thanks for dancing with us. Um, I'm also going to turn this light off in the other room. I'm going to go grab my tap shoes. And then we'll come back and do tap time. So let's put our hands in. Count to three. Put those hands up. We're all going to say tap time. Ready? One, two, three. Tap time. So if you have tennis shoes you want to put on that you can dance with inside the house. If you have tap shoes, those are perfect. Otherwise, barefoot is still fine. Or even socks are fine. If you don't have tap shoes or type of shoe that you really want to wear and you have ballet slippers, you can keep those on. Really anything. Since you're at home, you can wear or do whatever. Whatever feels good. I have my tap shoes here. Sorry, I had to step away to find them. While we are getting our shoes together here, whatever your foot situation is going to be, I feel like I still need to talk about our rules with our tap shoes. If you were to wear tap shoes, you'd have to look down and tell them one important rule. I know you guys know it. Let's look to our shoes, say no running tap shoes. Or maybe we could even say please. No running please. Good. And then really quickly too, we have different parts of our shoe I want to talk about. Right, there's two metal pieces here. This one up where my toes are is called the toe. And the part where my heel is in the shoe, we call the heel. So it makes sense. It's pretty self-explanatory. Toes, heels. And then we have the ball of our shoe or the ball of your foot. And this part does not have metal on it. It's meant for quiet feet. So if you're ever like, you know, backstage at a big concert or a big show and you're wearing your tap shoes, but you want it to be a surprise for the audience, you would put your quiet feet on. So you would just walk on the balls of your feet and not use your toes, or your heels, not use the tap part. All right, I gotta get some music on. How about, uh, I got it, this is gonna be fun. We're gonna warm up our feet, doing some movements, holding still. Then we're gonna do some transitional movements. Can everyone say transition? from getting us from one spot to another spot. So we'll work on moving, moving movements. <laughs> moving movements. Yes, that's what I want to say. Ladies and gents, this is the moment you've waited for. How's it going? Hey. Good. Hands on our hips. I'm going to put one toe out and then tap my toe with this music. Good. So feet. Side. 
Good. Let's try with our heels now. Go up on your toes. Keep your heels out to the side. Excellent. I want you to go heels and toes. Heels and toes. So you're moving to the side. Let's go. Capsule. Good. Two stomps and a clap. Stomp, stomp. Stomp, stomp. Excellent. Shuffle. Sweep the floor. Sweep the floor. So start with your foot in the back seat. But we always take to the front first. Front, back, step on it. Shuffle, step. Paradiddle. Dig, shank, toe, heel. Dig, shank. Good. So I hit my toe on the floor before I pick it up. Hit my toe. So there's four sounds. One, two, three, four. Good, you go a little bit faster. Remember to go faster, make it smaller. Good, try it with me. Do this with me. Good. Grand rolls. Don't need to go up on your toes, drop your heels. Up on your toes, drop your heels. Good, and we're gonna go faster. Good, go even faster. Yes, excellent. Go out on your heel. One more heel, heel. Beautiful. Let's see what song is next. I think that one might be too slow. Okay, transition moves. So remember, moving from one place to another place. We're transitioning, yeah? I'm going to walk with my heel toes first. Two sounds. Heel, drop my toe. Just like regular walking. Good. So anywhere in the room that you can go, this time I'm going to put, pick my whole foot up, put my toe down first, then my heel. Toe, heel. Excellent toe heels, you guys. Very good. Now I want you to lift those toes up and walk just on your heels. Kind of like that. Quack, 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 quack. So I'm going forward. Now I want you to try to go backwards. Go ahead. Make sure you are moving from one place to another place in the room. This time, heels up. Stay on your toes. Tippy toe, tippy toe, tippy toe, tippy toe. Yes, very good. Now we can try to stay on your toes, but we're going to kick the ball and step on it. So last. So Good. Remember, my heels are up. You believe that Just for my toes. To Good. So let's do it again. Kick, step, kick, step. I'm kicking so it down, down, down. One more time. Keep going. So left. So left. Good. So my heels have been up this whole time. Now I want you to try to do the full left. Heel. Fall up, heel. Fall up, heel. Toe, toe, heel. Yes. So now there's three sounds. One, two, three. One, two, three. Keep practicing. Fall up, heel. Brush, toe, heel. Yes. Very good, you guys. Good. Uh, what else can we do? How about we mix up some movement? Can you take a step or a march and then knock, knock, step, knock, knock. I'm going to go backwards. Step, dig. Woo, yes. Dig, step back. Dig, step back. Good. So you got to find your balance here too, yeah? Good. Big marches. Knees up. Hands up. Two step. Touch. Step. Touch. Take it down low. You can do it now. Right here. Step. Knock. Step. Knock. Hey. Hands up. With your toe. Good. Now change it to a knock. Hands low. Knock. Knock. Yes. 
Hands up. Fast feet. Fast feet. Yes. Whew. Now, since there was music, we didn't get an opportunity to practice quiet feet. So I want you to do that right now. Try your best to pick up your toes and your heels at the same time. So the only sound you hear is just the ball of your shoe. So even if you don't have your tap shoes on, this is still a hard challenge to walk on just the ball of your foot. So my toes are lifted, my heels are lifted. Ugh, such a good foot exercise. Just walking on the balls of my feet or the balls of my tap shoes and it's very quiet. <sighs> Excellent. Uh, one more thing kind of my favorite thing. I want you to sort of make up your own dance move. So I have three circles. Um, if you have something to put down on the floor, you can, but you don't have to have anything. I'm just gonna put them down so you can see that I am using my transitions, but you can transition in your room without placeholders. If you do wanna grab something, you can get some paper, um, a towel, maybe just different socks. Really, you could put anything down, but it's just so you know, you have three movements that you're gonna do in place, so on each placeholder that you have down, and you're gonna do two transition movements. And you can make this up on your own. You can do whatever you wanna do. I'm gonna pick my three favorite movements um, and my two favorite transitional moves. So my, fa my first favorite, in place tap movement um, is, is shuffle step. So I have my hands on my hips and I do shuffle step, shuffle step. And then I love doing my caterpillar. So I'm gonna do my caterpillar, the transitional move, because it gets me from purple to blue, it gets me from one plot, spot to another spot. And then I like doing paradiddles. And I like to do flaps or flap heel. To my next transitional movement. So I'm going to go up on my toes, flap, heel. Again, transition. It just gets me from blue to green. And my last favorite tap move is a new one for me, cramp roll. Go up on your toes, drop your heels. So at home you can do, again, whatever your favorite movements are. So I'm going to do it again. Again, this can be anything you want. You don't have to follow Miss Natalie. Just pick your three favorite moves and your two favorite transitional movements. And I'm gonna put some music on so that you can just do your favorite moves, yeah? You can do the same ones as me or you can make up your own. Oh, I don't know. So I like to do shut, go, set. My friend, you want to cut me in, but I hate to tell you, but it just won't happen. So there you see, but no, I think I'm good to go. Good, for your second transitional movement here now. So move from one spot to another in your room. Sure you You're onto something. Good, last favorite move. Good, last favorite move. And now it's super fun since you're doing this, you're only doing your favorite move. You can do it backwards. So I'm gonna try to do it backwards now. I'm gonna start with my last move. And I'm gonna go back to where I came from. So from blue to green. I'm green to blue. Green. Uh, now you should be getting back to your very first move. Take your walls and start them breaking. Excellent, now that's guys. a deal. Those the patterns, those dance moves taken. look so good. Looks like you're having a lot of fun. You can keep practicing this. Do it as much as you want, as long as you want. Remember, if you want to do that ballet dance again, it's Hakuna Matata. I started at one minute and 20 seconds. Um, but for now, just thank you for dancing me. Give yourself a big hug. Remind yourself by saying, I'm awesome! Thank you guys, we'll see you next time.